Hello, knife people. I like military knife, scandic convexing. This is the Ontario Air Force survivor knife. No guard. And uh, this bevel, zero grind bevel to the edge. My initial intention was scandinizing, but my natural movement on the stone made this bevel a bit convex. So I say it is. A scandi convex bevel. Quite sharp. Maybe the final angle is just under 30 degree inclusive. Mm. This one, USMC, short cable knife. My first knife. I put my self-made scandi convex edge. Whoa. Whoa. This angle is smaller. Thinner blade. Thicker blade a bit. And uh, bevel height. This one is a bit higher but this angle is smaller. It can be from this bevel geometry. Flatter. More convex it can be. It's more sharp, sharper than this one. And uh, this is the new knife. Kaber Becker BK seventeen. I was not able to imagine Kaber would produce this kind of good hunting knife. Around uh, four and a quarter inch braid, maybe. Just a moment. Gani. Hmm. This is just under four inches, so a bit longer. Four and a quarter inch braid. Very good. This length and this straight line and belly line and handle control. Very good. And as you see, this military, uh, not military, however, this uh, K-bar knife has a flat portion on this spine side from here to here. But this flat portion height is smaller than others. Hmm. I mean, this bevel height is larger the, than the others. But a bit thinner than Ontario. So if I made a zero grind flat scandi bevel on it, its edge angle is too small and uh, go a bit weak. So, natural movement 
on the water stone is preferable, especially in this case. From this line to the edge, I'll make a new bevel. Okay, scan the convex. Then, the final angle will make a perfect the addressing edge. In this case, I moved straight too much, so this berry uh, came out too acute. After knowing this uh, failure, I took care. Uh, I was very careful to make this edge line. So, this berry is more beautiful. It has the best line in the three nerves. It's line is too short. So, mm, okay. Please uh, look forward to what comes out. Okay, here we go. This is my 220 grit green covered stone. Its surface is a bit hollow. After my repeated using, but it will be no problem. Hmm. It was a good sharpening job here. Nice. This sharpening choil, this line, takes the edge very well. Mm. This coating seems quite thick. Now, like this, mm. beautiful straight line here, it will come out very beautiful, I believe, okay. Berry is a bit difficult. Every line on the berry, honing evenly is important and not going over angle is important to keep the sharp berry, sharp tip, I'm sorry. Dull tip, round tip is no good. So this is the end angle, over angle is no good. And Honing the edge, sorry, tip portion, I'm raising a bit my hand because of this uh, bevel. Flat on the stone, putting the bevel flat on the stone, then handle is a bit raised up like this.
nearly done. Next stone is 400 bridge. Chosera stone. Okay. Please look at this edge line. The secondary edge doesn't remain at all. And uh, it keeps beautiful edge line, belly line. Hmm, beautifully done. This side, a bit secondary edge is remaining around here, straight portion. No problem. And a bit remaining on the tip, just under the tip, shiny, no problem. Okay, next stone. Mm, very comfortable. Very different than the coarse green covered stone before. It's nice. Chaucer 400 stone is very nice. After having polished the bevel, for the bevel, I'm raising the angle a bit to make a micro bevel. This primary bevel angle is too small for de dressing absolutely. So I'm now raising up the honing angle a bit. A bit, a tad bit, like this. This portion easy to bleed sliding on the stone. Always it bleeds. You can see the mirror shining portion on the edge. This is the micro bevel, convex bevel. This portion just under the tip is kind of straight. This portion is difficult to make to me. Hmm. I need to improve myself on this portion, shaping, round. Anyway, this is the sharpest knife in my hunting knife collection. It's a cool logo made in the USA knife.
四波上坡嗯。It's final edge angle. Final micro convex bevel angle is the same as gunny knife. Back river edge angle it has. It still is not A2. So, a bit more deeper angle might be needed for the actual deer dressing. However, I will keep this angle until the real deer dressing. If it took a uh, micro rows, I'll deepen the angle at that time. It took me uh, nearly two hours to accomplish this project, but it's a very good candidate for a homemade sharp Scandi convex edge. I happened to do it with uh, my favorite technique, water stones, but it can be done with sandpapers. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye bye.